Hello again, we're still covering the Okama list module. This time we'll have a look at uh, operations or functions for associati association lists and lists of pairs. Please pay attention, th attention this time because I have a very interesting uh, sort of experiment for you, something that I'm sure you'll like. Now, for association lists, we have um, a function called ASOC, A-S-S-O-C for association, but what it does is uh, it returns the value associated with the key A in the list of pairs L. So basically, we have a list of pairs L and this can be seen as, the pairs can be seen as a key and value. So pairs means A comma B. Some, uh, uh, we've covered before in the Okama tutorial we, we covered um, uh, a tuple, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a tuple, basically a two tuple of A and B. So this is a pair, and what it does, uh, what this function does is it returns the value associated with B. So for example, if we have a list of a lot of, a lot of pairs, and one of them is A and B, if I use A as the key here, then it should return B. Um, let me show you some in, something interesting. We in in in, in the Okama tutorial we learned about records. What I've done what I've done here is I've created a small record for country, and the the element the fields are name of type string, population of type integer, and area of type float. And then I've made uh, three variables of this type: lby for Libya, uk for United Kingdom, and fr for France. Libya, the name will be Libya, population is about 6 million, area is 1.759 million square kilometers. Uh, for the UK, name is United Kingdom, that's how we assign the values inside the records. Notice for the definition, its colon for the assigning value is the equal. Population, 63 million people, area 0.243 million square kilometers. France, name is France, population 66 million area 0.64 million square kilometers. So let me copy and paste that into my uh, top level and move on from there. Oh, Camel, copy that, paste that, and then I'll copy and paste these three guys together to save time. Hit enter, so we have uh, LBY, Libya, UK. So if we do LBY, that's what Libya has. I'm, f I'm from Libya, by the way, UK and FR for France and now here I have a small list of pairs now of tuples of two let countries equals a list of pair one one comma LBY that's the first pair the second pair is two and UK the third pair is three and FR copy and paste that and that's the contents of our list now integer and the record integer and the record integer and the record these are three elements going back to the list module now associate returns the value associated with the k with the key a in the list of pairs l so our list now countries is a list of pairs and one two three are our keys what we can say is list dot let's say for example key two and then pass it the list of countries and it should return the record for the united kingdom as you can see here so i can say let for example dd equals that and that will be a variable of type uh, country and it will be the records of the United Kingdom as you can see here so that's a list of pairs and that's how list association works and these are other functions that you can learn about just read I'm sure you will get the idea of how these function functions work the list of pairs is another interesting thing in, in Okama lists basically if we have a list of pairs we can split them so this is a list of pairs yes we can split them and have two separate lists the split function transform a list of pairs into a pair of lists yes into a pair of lists so we can say a pair of lists i.e. we can say a pair means l1 or, or sort of l1 and l2 equals that's a tuple sort of list dot uh, split and then because our country's list is a list of pairs then we can actually split it and now l1 will have the first element 1, 2, 3 and L2 will have the second uh, part of the of the uh, of the pair. Yes, I hope that makes sense. Now, if that's a tuple. I mean, I could have said let L1 and L2, and that's exactly the same actually. And then split the list, 
and now L I'm sorry what have I done wrong here uh, I need to say equal yes I keep making this mistake remember always that whatever you do here you can do it in your code in source code so L1 now is the 1 2 3 and L2 is the record for the countries the opposite of that is to join or merge or combine two lists and this is the opposite of split so we can actually merge two lists into one list so we have L1 and L2 I can say let maybe new list equals list dot merge and then I give it L1 and L2 and um, why is it complaining transformed a pair of lists into a list of pairs list dot combine yeah I don't know why I'm saying merge list dot combine combine L1 and L2 and this where the new list will be the list of pairs and maybe I can have the opposite of that is maybe opposite of just reverse the order of list by saying L2 and L1 and just just another way of doing it and you have the list like that by the way you can have uh, tuples of any length you want as long as they are the same length as long as the uh, elements are cons of consistent type this is just these are tuples of two but can you have a tuple of three four five or anything you want these are Okama lists very powerful very polymorphic as you have seen I hope that makes sense and by the way let's have a look at list.merge where is list.merge it's just where list dot merge what it does it merges two lists so two lists become one list they need to be of the same type we'll come to sorting in the coming video so list dot merge it merges two lists it doesn't actually combine them combine the, actually the name makes more sense here again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time